Okay, so I'm pretty convinced that DICE is just on one right now because the way they're acting is kind of concerning. So I went on Twitter just a couple hours ago. I was actually just ending my stream or just about to. And someone in my chat typed, Ghost Gaming kicked from EA Creator Network. And I was like, what? Ghost Gaming is one of the least disagreeable and pretty, like, just straightforward creators Battlefield has currently. And I go on Twitter, I look at Ghost Gaming's tweet, and this is what it says. Quote, So, so after my 10 years creating videos in the Battlefield franchise, I've just been kicked from the EA Creator Network for, quote-unquote, leaking this absolutely shocking statement that tells us nothing more than the reason behind what we already knew. And the screenshot that he apparently leaked, and we'll go into further detail because uh, he has much more to say, the screenshot that he shows here is from uh, the EA Creator Network general chat in Discord, apparently, and it's from one of the community managers, Stratford, and he's essentially just talking about the reason why they don't want to add kick band features into the upcoming squad system, and we already kind of knew the reason why they weren't going to add a kick ban. It's, you know, it'll hurt some fifis or something, so we can't put it in the game anymore. But that's it, right? Like, that's the apparent leaked screenshot right there, and then Ghost Gaming goes on to say that he actually asked why they weren't getting an option to kick or lock squads, and that he was provided an answer, and then got banned when they apparently couldn't handle the negative feedback as a result of the answer that he got. Ghost Gaming then states that he thinks this is an unbelievably petty thing to kick somebody over, and basically he just doesn't even know what the hell DICE is doing right now. He says, DICE are handling the negative feedback horribly and showing a side I don't like at all this week. And let's not forget that they wrongfully suspended me in the same week. But don't think the tomfoolery ends there, because in another thread on Twitter, Ghost Gaming was replying to someone that was asking him questions about this, and he says, I immediately PM'd Stratford, the community manager, and apologized for any hate coming his way as a result of him leaking the screenshot, and he also typed that in the Discord as well. But this is where the fun begins, right? Because apparently, according to them, Ghost Gaming, quote, ruined an entire month of goodwill with the community by posting one screenshot. And that right there is just... What do you even say about that? I don't even know what to say about that. That is insanity. What kind of slippery slope are we going down here, Dice? I mean, for real. You're not even gonna give Ghost Gaming a warning? Not even a warning? You just kick him from the EA Creator fucking program? Over this? This is what you kick him for. You gotta be kidding me, dude. I mean, you gotta treat people better than this. You really do. Because Ghost Gaming, like I said at the beginning of this video, he's one of the most likable people in the whole Battlefield community. Uh, and I don't see any reason why he shouldn't at least receive a warning for this. I understand that if he were to leak, you know, something huge, like, oh my god, he leaked Season 5, holy shit, you know, that would be understandable grounds to be kicked. But a screenshot of information that we basically already knew? Come on, dude. You gotta give him the benefit of the doubt. And let's not forget that this is literally within the same week that I got wrongfully suspended for criticizing publicly made developer comments and presenting arguments. Okay? I don't know what kind of scorched earth policy they're trying to uphold here, but it's not good for anyone. Because I'd be willing to bet that this is the most backlash DICE has received in a good long while. And rightfully so, because they're coming off like some sort of tyrannical, like, evil company right now. They really aren't. I don't understand any of the action that has been taken in the past, like, week from DICE, to be perfectly honest with you. It almost seems to me that they, like, they really want to just make examples of some people and just, like, put people in their place and put people down and just make sure everyone's in line. You must comply. You must comply. If you go against the Empire, you will be executed. Like... Holy shit, dude. What are we doing here? And just to give some further context on the entire situation, some people might be wondering if you are actually allowed to share anything from the EA Creator Network Discord. Now, obviously, I'm not in the EA Creator, ne uh, Creator Network for, uh, you know, <laughs> obvious reasons. But um, other than that, Ghost Gaming said there's basically nothing going on in the Discord ever, and he's seen a ton of other people share information from that Discord before. 
And like I stated previously in this video, that information that he shared wasn't anything groundbreaking. You know, he, he even says this himself in this tweet here, he says that, oh my god, like if they shared the seasons of content of season 5, like yeah, I'm not gonna share that, but it wasn't, it was information that was pretty much already known. So all in all, there's some really bad stuff going on right now in the Battlefield scene. I've even had creators, uh, some of you might watch some of these creators, uh, DM me and ask me like, oh my god, and there's like, what, what should I not say in order to not get banned? You know what I tell them? Say the exact fucking thing you want to say, right? Like, you, because you just can't be intimidated by this sort of action. And this behavior from EA DICE in general sets a very concerning precedent for future content and just basically covering content around Battlefield at all. You never really know what they're going to take the wrong way, you know? And they've proven so far that they really don't give a fuck, uh, and they will just do whatever they want to do. So hopefully these two instances are just, you know, weird outliers that just coincidentally happened very close to each other, and it all returns to normalcy, and maybe DICE can take some criticism for once in their lives again. But I really feel for Ghost Gaming, I know the EA Creator Network is uh, really not my type of thing, I've never really tried to get into it, never really cared to get into it, but for the people that are in it, it's certainly an interesting opportunity because you are really uh, the creators that get to know about things first, and you're, you're included in some recording sessions and play tests, I'm sure, and all that sort of stuff, and for Ghost Gaming to be kicked from the EA Creator Network after being a content creator for so long under Battlefield and losing that opportunity over, like, some screenshot. I mean, give me a fucking break. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support on the uh, videos regarding my suspensions. Unbelievable amount of comments and support. And uh, just the, I've received hundreds upon hundreds of DMs from a ton of people. So, yeah, you guys are awesome. I really do appreciate you guys. And uh, I'll see you guys later.